All right, time for 2009 MIT integrals. Okay, the first one, <coughs> zero to pi cosine three x divided by cosine x dx. Okay, uh, I don't know why the first thing came to my mind was to turn everything into secants, but that's not gonna do any it's just not gonna get me nowhere or anywhere. Uh, I don't think you said this. No, I don't think substitution would work. I don't want to do integration by parts. Uh, ooh, actually. Ooh, okay, hopefully I could do this correctly, but I think if you do it this way, maybe this could be, let's see, cosine, 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 sine, sine, and I think the operations flip. Oh, okay, well, yeah, you know where this is going. So this becomes... I really hope this is correct, though. Uh, see, cos all this divided by cosine x. Let's see. This becomes cosine 2x. And then minus... Well, this, this is uh, sine 2x. Sine 2x is... 2 sine x cosine x, so I guess this is 2 sine square x, yeah, okay, uh, oh god, it's one of these identities, again, so, sine square is equal to half minus cosine 2x so this is going to be pi to 0 Let's see these are cosine 2x's so that's a half cosine x plus a half wait no because this is 2 sine squared so if I write this and not stupidly do this in my head. Uh, okay. It went out of focus for a moment. Uh, two. So negative, I'm multiply this by negative two. This becomes negative one uh, plus. Okay. So this is, wait, so this is plus two. I mean, uh, negative 2 times this. So that's cosine 2x. So that's a 2 right there. Okay. I guess that's not that bad. So that's uh, sine 2x minus x pi to 0. Uh, I really hope this is correct. So sine 2 pi. That sounds like zero, so it's negative pi. Uh, I'm getting worried now. Uh, minus zero. So this is negative pi. Uh, did I do anything wrong? So you divide by cosine uh, sine 2 sine square <coughs> looks right to me uh, I don't know if it looks right to you but see it's a negative it just worries me because usually you're not supposed to have a negative number but I mean I guess whatever math says 
whatever math says. So I'm just gonna assume, well, I mean, you can have a negative number, but most of the time, uh, you're not really supposed to. But I mean, this is all math, so math isn't always right. Okay, so now we have this second integral. Uh, let's see, square root of 1 minus cosine x. I'm gonna conjugate that. So that's pretty much uh, multiplying 1 plus cosine. I mean, uh, the square root of 1 plus cosine. So I'll multiply this to this function here. And so what that would get me is, well, in the numerator, I get the square root of 1 minus cosine square, which is the square root of sine square, which is sine x. Okay. Here, uh, the bottom is 1 plus cosine x. Oh dear god, this is going to be annoying because I'm going to have a negative. So, if you do u sub, let u equals 1 plus cosine x, uh, you'll end up with a negative uh, 1 over root u. So that's going to equal negative 2 root u. Like that. Uh, if you memorize your this, uh, this is always equal to 2 root x plus c. Uh, a very common thing to remember. Uh, oh, I guess that is it. Okay. So pi over 2 to negative pi over 2. It's always definite integrals. God damn MIT. Why do you do this to me? Pi over 2. Let's see, cosine of pi over 2. I am a scientist, so I don't memorize my unit circle. That's uh, 0. I think cosine pi over 2 is 0. That's 1. So it's negative 2 minus uh, negative pi over 2. That's backwards. That's still 0. Wait, so this is 0? I don't know. I suck at trig functions. Uh, let's just assume... Let's assume I'm right. So, uh, yeah, just because everything makes sense, but the answer doesn't. Okay. Uh, zero. Oh, well, maybe because it's an odd function. Anyways, uh, third integral. Okay, so that does not look pretty at all. <sighs> that actually kind of a little worries me. Uh, I'm gonna let x equal two sine theta, so that because I want, or I'll just put it right here. I'm pr I pretty much want four, or was it? I want x squared equal four sine squared data, pretty much, so that I can do what, 4 minus that, then what that would, you'll, you'll see. So dx is 2 cosine theta, okay, so you, what you could do is you just let x squared equal 4 sine squared and then solve for x, uh, and you'll get to this. But I do things very fast. Okay, I'm lying. No, I don't do things fast. But 4 times 2 cosine theta d theta. And then x is 2 sine theta. Plus, and then whatever you plan to do with this, uh, this is 2 cosine theta. So what this does 
is I'm trying to do 4 minus 4 sine square theta so that the 4 can be factored out and you'll be left with this and this becomes 2 cosine theta so I'm pretty much simplifying it and just getting rid of the, the square root because we all hate square roots so here so this this is the uh, the result of the trig sub the two cancels out uh, holy hell sine theta plus cosine theta MIT how do you come up with these integral uh, See, so we have 4 cosine theta, d theta, sine theta plus cosine theta. Can I just add? I'll, I'll just, let me, just let me add uh, 4 sine theta so that everything cancels out, and then I'll just get 4 d theta. Like, I just wish I could just do that. But then... I'll be left with the 4 sine theta. I mean, negative 4 sine theta. Oh my goodness. The de I really don't like the denominator. Because it's a... It's a trig polynomial. I don't want to use Weierstrass. Because... I hate rational polynomials. Can I do a u sub with this? Yes, I can. Ooh, okay. Let me try this. Uh, I really hope this is legal, but I'm going to take the 2 to the side and I'm going to have 2 cosine theta with whatever. So, what's going to happen? So here's what I'm doing. I'm going to make uh, that 4, I'm going to distribute it to 2 times 2 so that I could do something with the 2 cosine theta. So here, I have cosine theta plus sine theta. Okay. And I'm add another cosine theta. So this this is from 2 cosine theta. And then here, I'm going to do a, a 0 substitution here. Let 0 equals sine theta minus sine theta. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Uh, for integrals, when you have an, was it adding like this, you can split it up. I'm pretty sure all of you guys knew that. Uh, so this cancels out. Or, you know what, let me write this in a different, in the other side. So what I pretty much have, oh god, don't rip, uh, sine theta plus cosine theta, okay. I have cosine theta plus sine theta plus sine theta plus cosine theta, cosine theta minus sine theta. Holy mackerel, what is this? Well, this is just one. This is a u substitution where you just let u equals this whole thing, and the derivative is this whole thing, and so you get uh, one plus uh, what one over u, and so what this is is I get. 2, 2 theta plus 2 ln of sine theta plus cosine theta. And so theta, what, 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 what is theta? So theta is equal inverse sine? x over 2. Yeah. The inverse sine of x over 2. So that's 
So inverse sine of x over 2. Right. I always have to double check because I make a lot of mistakes. Okay. So yeah, that's theta. Inverse sine of x plus 2. Conveniently. Uh, plus 2 ln of, well, sine theta. Sine theta is right here. So sine theta is x over 2. So it's x over 2. And then plus cosine theta. Uh, cosine of inverse sine of x is equal to sine of cosine inverse of x, just letting you guys know that both of these equal 1 minus x squared. So, if I do cosine of inverse sine of x over 2, that's pretty much 1 over 1 minus x squared. So this is x squared over 4 plus c. I think that's correct. Let's see, x over 2. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So here's my answer then. There you go. I hope you guys learned something new. If not, uh, you should probably go watch some higher level math, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.